Shandy. Peter Brock did come a cropper at the cutting today. Good to see you alive and well, Brocky. Was it a bit scary? Um, well, I was, I was a bit nonplussed by it all, to be perfectly honest with you. I went in there and I sort of jammed the brakes on and I thought, yes, yeah, it's not bad. I, the rear end, though, was just uh, stepping out very easily. And there he goes. Yep. And I thought at the time before it hit, I thought that thing's just about stopped, but uh, no way. You can see the rear end just step out instantaneously. I just was quite staggered by it all, to be honest with you. <laughs> this happens in motor racing. It sure has better today than tomorrow in many ways. Yes. What does it do for you tomorrow? Well, it doesn't really hurt us too much. I mean, it sounds very strange saying that, but uh, the guys will now take their time preparing the car properly. Uh, in other words, instead of just throwing it together and getting it out for this afternoon session or something like that, they wouldn't even attempt to get out there and try to uh, have a makeshift repair. By tomorrow morning, the car will be as good as what it was midweek and we'll be back on the pace and it will be a good show. Did Craig put any pressure on you, your uh, teammate, by posting well, such a fast time? No, we, we had uh, sort of uh, bets on what times we could do and I, my feeling was I could do about 11-1 if I got it right because I, I hadn't really had a red-hot go. But, um, I mean, fantastic run by Craig. And it's all just come together for him beautifully. And uh, really, it's a matter now of concentrating on the race for him. And it's something which I, you know, talked to him about at times. Um, as far as I'm concerned, no, I just get out there and just do what I think the car can do at the time. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Let's hope it's number 10 for you. Peter Brock, uh, Sandy. Uh